Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the PhoneJoy game controller for Android. Android 4.0 Plus to be exact. Now this, uh, I got about a month ago, and I've had a little time to play with it, and I've got to say I am very impressed with it. This is my favorite way to game on mobile devices, and I'm going to show you guys why. First off, this is an expanding game controller, and this is what I mean by that. So you can take your phone and put it inside of it and play it like a mobile console. Let's try that out. Right here, <clears throat> I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. It's a little dusty, but that's okay, we can forgive that. Um, and it... <laughs> wow, it's really dusty. <laughs> And it laying on the table. Anyway, so um, as you can see, I have a hardcore uh, case with a kickstand that comes out and everything. And you're like, well, that's not going to fit this. But wait. Let's check it out. Hmm. Now, when this came in, they had some little rubber pieces that were... See where those little holes are? They had rubber pieces there. Uh, right there. And... I took them out and I put them in here. So, this is what happens when you take out the rubber pieces. You slide it in. So, as you can see, you just slide that sucker in there, and bam! You've got a nice, form fitting mobile game console. And that's what I like about this size phone, because, I mean, look at it, it looks like one thing. It's like, you know, like an Atari Lynx or something. I don't know. But yeah, now we're going to get into uh, how it plays, uh, how the buttons feel, and just pretty much everything else about it. So stay tuned. Alright, now I went ahead and turned on Bluetooth and everything. I even cleaned up the phone screen a bit. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, okay, so you flick this switch to the left, and then you're going to see this light come on, and that's how you know it's on. <laughs> uh, when it turns blue like that, you know it's working. So it's actually connected, and, you know, I can, you know, control my desktop on here, if need be. But what I'm really going to do is, I already have it started. Mario 64. Bam. Right here. Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, this is great to play whenever you're... Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. So this is great to play when you're on the go. And uh, this is my favorite way to game. This, Just like I said. I love playing with the joystick. It's one of those slider joysticks. And uh, it, it works really well. I love the uh, the rubber texture on it. My thumb never feels like it's going to fall off. It, it feels really grippy. So, um, yeah. Let's see what else happens here. And then you got your little punch thing. That backs up. Um, I haven't set these. I, I just... Uh, I had them set, and for some reason I had to um, reset my phone because I had some issues, and then now I had to redo it, but I haven't done it yet, so anyway. Now we just have Mario flying around. Uh, but this is great for emulators. I mean, you have a D-pad that obviously doesn't work in Mario 64, but the D-pad I've always heard is kind of stiff. I like the way it plays, and I'm about to show you why. Okay, Street Fighter 2 Turbo for Super Nintendo. Now, if I could pull off these moves with, uh, with the D-pad, then you know we're doing well. So let's see how it goes. Alright, Zangief. Can I do a Hadouken? Yep. Whoa! I forgot I had that as the, uh, <laughs> the fast-forward button. Can I do a Tactic Peruket? <laughs> That's what I call it. I know it's like... The whole word is Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku, or however you say it. But I could do a Hadouken every time using this D-pad. So, yeah. 
it's uh, it's very responsive and I love it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do a dragon punch now, just to hit the point home. Oh well, get out of my way so I can do my dragon punch. There we go. Ah, it's not letting me do my dragon punch because he's so close. Get away. Alright, now, dragon punch. Get away so I can do my dragon punch! Okay, so it's a sucky now. I still beat him? How did that happen? Okay, I still beat him. Anyway, you get, you get the point. So, this is an awesome, unbelievable emulation godsend. But, uh, does it play regular games? Well, yes. Yes, it does. Let's give that a shot now. We're going to play Asphalt 8. We're going to Nevada. I love the Note 4 for gaming. I absolutely love it. This screen is just such an amazing size, and it's just awesome. As you can see, there's absolutely no issues. I'm playing. Sorry, I had a little. Oh crap! Everybody went left. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I went the wrong way. I don't know what all the stuff on the screen is. You think my screen was dusty before? Well, it's dusty now. There we go. Uh, maybe. Uh, you know what? As a future, uh, just for future reference, don't um, don't do what I did. You know, make sure you have a straight shot before you turn on your boost, and then you'll be a happier person for it. So yeah. That's that. That's right. You can play Dreamcast on your phone. Amazing. I know. But uh, yeah, it's also amazing with this phone joy controller. But this is the level I really wanted to show. Because this is what's going to show off the, um, the way that this is able to control. Because, you know, some controllers are just crappily... Oh, man! Crappily controlled. And then you bounce all over the place when you're playing as Sonic. Ooh. Speaking of. Hey, look. Get me back over that. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm not having too much trouble with the rings. There we go. Do do do. Do do do. I didn't even get the thing. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I'm doing horribly. It's awesome when you try to show somebody something. You really, you just suck at it. That's gonna happen every time. I remember whenever I first got the Dreamcast, I was just so amazed whenever... I mean, because obviously I got Sonic Adventure. But uh, this right here was just... I was so happy with it. The music... The levels. I mean, look at that. They didn't have to do that. They did that just to show off. And it was amazing. I loved it. So, yeah, you kind of have to circle around. Oh, got an extra life. Just heard it. Um, that's okay. Now, this is going to be the test. Whether I can run up the side wall and I can get that... Uh, get that, that power up. I haven't been able to do it yet with other controllers. But you know what? I did it with the phone joy. That's awesome. It's just that, you know, the thumbsticks on some other, like the Moga and all that. But, I mean, they're okay. I mean, depending on which one you get, obviously. I've tried a few of them. Uh, but... This is to be my favorite. And not everybody's going to share, you know, my thoughts and my feelings. Because I have heard people talk about how stiff the D-pad is, you know, and how they don't like this or that, which, whatever. But I really like it. Everything is just really well made. And uh, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I'm actually giving you my, my proper thoughts on this matter. 
And I'm almost done with the level, so we're about to wrap this uh, video up. So I can get over there. There we go. So, as you can see, I play it pretty well. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad, just like Sonic says. And lending more credence to my opinion that Android is just the best mobile operating system um, for gamers. Because, I mean, you also have a PlayStation 1 emulator, FPSE. We're going to be playing some Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. This is a game that I usually, uh, it's my go-to for uh, mobile gaming. Um, like, if I want to do something really quick, I usually just pop this in and I'll play uh, play a couple of rounds. You know, play the school once or twice. There we go. I like this school level. Here we go, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> and I, I like to actually uh, go between the uh, the D-pad and the... Oh, crap. <laughs> and the joystick. Oh, man. So, yeah. Um, it, it plays without any problems. There's no lag and there's no skipping. None of that stuff. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, I went directly into it. So let's go a little sideways. I'm going to start looking at the actual screen of the phone instead of looking at the viewfinder of my camera here. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> uh, I'm really not that bad at this game. There we go. As you can see, the video is playing in the background. The video of the, uh, of the song. Okay, let's try a different one. Okay, now we're going to be playing Smackdown 2, Know Your Role, for the PlayStation. And this is, uh, you know, it's obviously a wrestling game, but it's something that, uh, I mean, it's a quick wrestling game. It'll, it'll pass the time, well, quickly. And it's a lot of fun, and as you can see, it plays full speed. There are no issues with it. And I know this is... Uh, this isn't really an emulator review, this is a phone joy review. But as you can see, it the phone joy just knocks all of this out of the water. It feels like I'm playing with a console controller. It's very nice. I mean, it has a layout of the PlayStation controller, you know, with the buttons and everything. Um, the same layout for Super Nintendo and uh, Xbox games. It's just, I mean, it's very familiar. You know what you're you're getting whenever you play in this, oh, whenever you're playing, and there are no surprises. So yeah, very well done. I have to commend Phone Joy for what they did, for what they accomplished, and anything that can accommodate this beefy hulk of a phone with a huge case on it. You know, you've got my vote. So I think we're gonna do one more emulator. And uh, this is something that's really going to show off the way that the phone joy will work with the particular phone that I have in order to make a better gaming experience. So, there we go. That's right, you can play Nintendo DS games on here with the stylus. Check that out. You don't need a stylus, you can always just use that, but, you know, my phone has a stylus, so why not? This is like a match made in heaven. It's amazing. So... There's really, like, almost nothing that you can't do. You know, you got a phone joy, you got an awesome phone, you're good. Uh, let's see. Get out of the fish. Let's rub it. Get up there, get up there, go, go. There we go. Get up there. Oh, I think I have to let him swim. Nope. Do you have to swim down a little bit or something? I don't remember how to do this. Get up there. Yay. Oh crap, I've got three of them. <laughs> okay, it's new Super Mario Brothers. This is going to show off the phone joy as far as playing it. And uh, I just got to get past this. Once this finishes up and I get to the level, I'll, I'll come back. And we're back. To get past a cutscene really quickly. Okay, and now I'm going to show off how you can play 
Nintendo DS on your phone with the phone joy. Whoa. Yes. Ba ba. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this game is so much fun. I love that I can play this on here because now I don't have to carry my DS Lite with me everywhere I go. And can you imagine if I had a like a, a 3DS XL or something like that? Oh man, that would just be ridiculous. I have to carry everything like that. But now I don't have to. Now I just you know pull out the phone joy and boom, there there it is. Oh man, this is so much fun. I'm just going to keep saying over and over again, man, this is so much fun. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. So, yeah, and if you'll notice, I am playing with the D-pad. Yeah, because I like the D-pad. There we go. Aww. My one-ups. Give them over. All right. Aww. I was all big and whatnot. I love how they just start dancing, like, along with the music. They're like, bah, bah. Is there anything here? Yeah? Alright, well, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Oh, I'm at the end of the level. Cool. I love when he says that. I just wanted to throw that in there. It's so nice! Okay, so that was my review of the Phone Joy. Um, I went through a bunch of different games and I showed you guys just, you know, how well I could play with it. And I think that's the best way to show this off is actually to show that it is very usable. Um, it's, you know, a lot of, you'll read a lot about how the, the D-pad is stiff. I don't agree with that. Um, I think it's a very functional D-pad, and I like both of these uh, analog, um, they're, they're like thumb sticks, thumb sliders, I don't know what you want to call them, but anyway, I like the way it is. It, it really helps out with the form factor. You can slip this into your back pocket, uh, take it out carefully, you know, you don't want any of these rubber pieces coming off your buttons or whatever. Um, but, uh, I mean, it has a micro USB charger. You just charge this, and it's got 10 hours of battery life. And you're on the go for that, and you're good. Um, ergonomic on the back. Uh, there's really... I don't have any complaints for it. I really wish that I did. You know, just... I mean, not... I really... You know, that's that's not really what I'm trying to say is that, you know, like, normally there's pros and cons and, you know, you guys might think that, oh, well, he's not, uh... He's not giving an honest opinion because he hasn't said anything negative about it at all. Everybody has something negative to say about everything, if they, even if they love it. Well, in this case, I really don't have anything to say negative about it. So, I mean, I don't want this video to come off as something that I'm being paid for or, uh, you know, somebody's putting words in my mouth. They're not. This is just my honest opinion. I love the way this is. You know, the only thing that I could say bad about it is that it's not permanently attached to my phone. I wish that phones had, like, you know, the Sony Xperia Play where it just slides out of the bottom, kind of like the PSP Go, and you have a controller like that. That's what they need to do. They need to start... Uh, making phones like that, but until then we have the phone joy, and I'm very thankful that we have that so If you guys are in the market for one of these, you know any gaming controller for your Android phone Get the phone joy. You will not regret it. Turn your phone into a console Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's been Tyson 716 Goodbye